Hey everyone, it's Enjoy English School. I'm Chris Gorski. I'm Anthony. And today is day two of our book club article. And our book this month is called The Day I Was Erased. 没错，我们今天要继续介绍我们昨天介绍过的《橡皮擦男孩》，英文的书名叫做《The Day I Was Erased》。好，在这边的话，我们昨天介绍过这个橡皮擦男孩呢，主角叫做 Maxwell， 他呢是一个麻烦精，但是呢，他其实心地非常的善良。那在这过程当中呢，他可能感觉到说，他一直做一些很顽皮的事情。让旁边的人不太喜欢他，于是他觉得说：“哎，算了，我要是不出生在这个世界上就好了。”后来呢，阴错阳差的，他真的许愿成真了，他有机会进入到一个平行时空，然后这个平行时空里面，大家都不认识他，他有机会去检视他人生对其他人的改变。Today is February seventh. We're on pages sixteen and seventeen in our magazine, and just like Anthony describes in the story, we have some trouble with young Maxwell. And the story makes you ask yourself some difficult questions: Is the grass always greener on the other side? And this means that are other people always luckier, or do they always do better than you? Is anybody ever really satisfied with their life? 嗯，没错，老师刚刚提到一个非常好的一个用法哦。他说 ，The grass is always greener on the other side. 它的全部是 on the other side of the fence， 意思就是奇怪，你家邻居的草怎么样？看起来好像都是比你家的草更绿。好，你就总觉得人家做的比较好，外国的月亮比较圆，望着这山看那山高那种感觉。那到底我们在日常生活当中是不是？对自己的生活都有一些些的不满呢，在这个故事里面，其实有机会让我们去思考这些问题。Okay, with that, let's take a quick break, and when we come back, we have our first paragraph. Okay, friends, let's look at paragraph one again. We're on pages sixteen and seventeen. Let's learn about our author. Children's book author Lisa Thompson was born in Essex, England, in May of nineteen seventy-three. 好，我们看第一段的第一句话就告诉你说，哦，这个童书作家呢，我们叫做 Lisa Thompson。好，这个作家呢，他呢是出生于1973年5月，好是在英国的 Essex， 好这个地方。Okay, let's continue to our next sentence. When she was young, she wasn't thinking about becoming a writer. What she wanted more than anything was horse riding lessons. Okay, I 告诉你说啊，当他在还是小朋友的时候，还比较年轻的时候 ，she wasn't thinking about becoming a writer. 她根本没有想过要当作家哦。What she wanted more than anything was horse riding lessons. 好，她当时真的很想要的是呢，我要上骑马的课。Okay, so let's look at our third sentence here. What she wanted more than anything, and I. Underlined more than anything, and I said the most. What she wanted the most was horse riding lessons. Now, don't forget with ride. 那个 e 是五发音的，所以我们可以注意 and 加 i n g horse riding lessons. 嗯，没有错。所以这边的话，还是很想上骑马课。其实当初没有想要做作家哦。Our next sentence begins. However, Her parents couldn't afford them. They didn't have enough money. 好，接下来我们在这边这句话看到一个重要的字 afford. Afford 意思就是能够负担得起。好，很想上骑马课，可是你也知道，请马术教练啦，来教教课啦，可能是很贵的嘛。所以他这边看到说 ，However, her parents couldn't afford them. 好，这 afford them 这个 them 指的是 lessons, a horse riding lessons. So we can underline F O R D in a Ford, and Ford is not a word we use a lot today, but it was more popular in the past, especially in the American West, when you had to cross a river before you had a bridge. You could you know, have your horses or your oxen, like your buffaloes, like pull you across the river, or you could try to float across. And this was called to ford the river. It really means. To cross, so if you can afford something, that means you have enough money to continue or go forward. 
哦，原来如此。所以在这里的话，以往在这个美国，尤其在他们西进的时候，如果说当初呢，这个交通啊并不发达，你要经过一条河流，它并没有桥的时候呢，你就有可能去找你的这个马啦，或是这个野牛啦，可能拉你过去。所以这个这个动作 to cross the river， 它可以用 ford f o r d 这个动词来去讲。所以说，今天当你 when you can afford something， 意思就是你没有办法有足够的钱或资源带。你继续 continue， 继续前进，所以它是有这样的一个典故在的。Let's continue to our next sentence. So instead, she wrote a short story about a little girl who starts a rescue home for horses. Okay, <笑>所以说今天既然没有办法去上骑马课的话，那我在我的想象世界里头想一想，总不犯法吧，对不对 ？So instead, she wrote a short story about a little girl. Who starts a rescue home for horses? So he, at the time, he. 他就想说，那我要去写一个故事，一个短篇的小说，然后呢，是关于一个小女孩为这个马匹啊建立这个救援之家的概念。So highlight the word instead, and I actually drew a little arrow too. 我画小小的箭头在 instead 之后。When we say instead, 我们下一个东西是要做的。If we say instead of the home man, we don't have to do that thing. That's a little bit tricky to remember. Um, no, this place is very important. So here, if you hear that so instead, instead, the home man is directly with a capital letter. Then you help me write down what we have to do. If you see other places where you have to do instead of, you have to do instead of the home man is directly with a capital letter. Then you help me write down what we have to do. If you see other places where you have to do instead of, you have to do instead of the home man is directly with a capital letter. Remember this of country like song off and off the buyalda. I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> I can't think of something better though. You can, yeah, you can. So, so, teacher, I could, yeah, I could. Just is that off o f. 看起来就很像 o f f， 就是离开，不要做，这样可以帮助你记得后面的东西是你要离开而不要做的。Mm. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to think of something better. Okay, <laughs> let's continue to our next sentence. She even drew. Illustrations of the story by herself. 好，甚至哦，你看哦，她还自己画插图哦。She even drew illustrations. Illustrations 这个东西呢，就是指文章里面旁边的一些插画。她甚至连插画都自己来画来写哦。This way, she could be around and play with horses in the world of her imagination. 好，这样一来的话呢 ，this way 就是这样一来，如此一来 ，she could be around. And play with horses in the world of her imagination. 这样子的话，他就可以在他的想象世界中整天跟马匹玩耍，这就是他要的事情。So when Lisa Thompson, our author, was thirteen, she found this book about the horses, and she felt very embarrassed. When you're thirteen, you're embarrassed easily, and she ripped up this book and threw it away. And now today, she thinks about that, and she feels very terrible that. She doesn't have this first book that she wrote. 哎，好可惜哦，对不对？老师刚刚提到说，在她 Lisa Thompson 十三岁的时候，她发现到她当初自己写的这个小书，还有她的插画，对不对？她觉得，哎呀，怎么怎么怎么会写出这么不成熟，好好糟哦！她就把这个书给撕了，然后把它丢掉了。等她现在真的变成作家之后，她回头想想说，哎呀，要是我留当初那本我的第一个创作那本小书，该有多好。Yeah, I guess that, like we said, that young people are impulsive and they yell YOLO and then they do something crazy.、Mm. Maybe she did that too. <laughs> 没错，没错。<laughs> okay, let's take a quick break, and when we come back, we got paragraph two. All right, friends, welcome back to Enjoy English School. We're on pages sixteen and seventeen, and it's the book club. We're talking about the day I was erased. It's day two, so we're learning more about our author, Lisa Thompson. As an adult, Lisa would go on to work behind the scenes on radio programs for the BBC, a broadcasting organization in the UK. 好，我们来看第二段这个地方哦。他就说了，好，慢慢的，这个 Lisa Thompson 长大了嘛。As an adult， 好，等他成年之后呢 ，Lisa 在哪里工作呢 ？Lisa would go on to work behind the scenes on radio programs for the BBC， 
。好，这个地方 for the BBC 就是这英国广播公司啊、哦，在这边的话，他在英国广播公司组织的 BBC 广播节目的幕后工作 ，behind the scenes 就是在幕后的意思。A broadcasting organization in the UK. This broadcasting 就是指广播。好 ，broadcast 本身就是指广播这个动词加 ing 之后，再去修饰后面的 organization. The opposite of behind the scenes is on camera, or if it's the radio, we'll say on air. 啊，所以说今天如果说相反的概念的话 ，behind the scenes 是幕后嘛？那如果是在幕前，在镜头前面的话，你可以说 on camera。On camera 就是在镜头前，或者甚至在像我们现在在做广播，你可以说 on air。所以很多时候，你如果提到电影的话，你会常常听到 cast and crew， 对不对 ？Cast 这些卡斯这些角色就是在镜头前面 ，who are on camera。那 crew 的话就是在幕后背后工作这些这些人物啊，这些重要的这种员工，你也可以叫做 cast and crew。那后面的 crew 就是我们这边的 people who work behind the scenes。After a decade. Or ten years of working at the BBC, she became a freelance radio broadcast assistant. 好，接下来告诉你说 ，after a decade of working at the BBC， 好，在这边的话就是要哦，原来他在 BBC 这边已经工作了十年了。A decade 就是指十年的意思。然后呢，在句子的后半段，他就说 ，She became a freelance radio broadcast assistant. Freelance 就是自由业者，好，自由接案的人。那他就变成了自由业的这种啊、呃、广播助理啊，电台广播助理叫做 broadcast assistant。好，在这边的话，你可以看到 assistant。Assist 就是帮助的意思。Assistant 就是负责帮助别人的助理。Now a freelance, just like Anthony said, is someone that works for themselves. They don't have a contract. They need lots of experience and confidence. 没错，没错，在这边的话，那个 freelance， 它其实叫自由接案的话，它要案源稳定，它必须要非常非常有自己接案的技巧，然后本身对自己做出来作品要很有信心。Now, a lance, L A N C E, is a very long weapon. You've seen this in movies, like a knight sits on a horse and he has that long stick to hit another rider. That that's called a lance. And a freelance was a fighter that didn't have a king. He would go work for anybody that gave him enough money. He didn't care what you wanted to do. He was a for hire soldier, and so they were、uh, they were free to work or fight for anybody that would give them enough money. Just like a freelance today. Oh, so he said today this word's origin is like this. So the lance just mentioned is lance. This word actually is actually a very long sword to fight the horse. Okay, so you can imagine that the word freelance in the ancient time is that the person himself doesn't need to be a king. Who gives him money, he will fight for anyone. So the lance is a very long sword to fight the horse. Okay, so you can imagine that the word freelance in the ancient time is that the person himself doesn't need to be a king. Who gives him money, he will fight for anyone. So the lance is a very long sword to fight the horse. Okay, so you can imagine that. Let's continue to our next sentence. It wasn't until 2017, at the age of 43, that she published her first children's novel, The Goldfish Boy. 嗯，没错。接下来告诉你说了，一直到了二零一七年那一年 ，at the age of 43， 哈，那年她四十三岁。那我们的作作者 Lisa Thompson 才怎么样？ She published her first children's novel. 她就出了她第一个啊、uh, 童书作品，叫做《The Goldfish Boy》。好，中文的这个名称叫做《金鱼男孩》。So let's continue to our next sentence. The book became a national bestseller and was even nominated for the Waterstones Children's Book Prize. 好，他告诉你说这个书啊怎么样呢 ？Became a national bestseller. 好 ，national bestseller 就是指这种全国的这种畅销排行榜的第一名哦，可能是那种非常非常畅销书了，不见得第一名。And was even nominated for the Waterstones Children's Book Prize， 甚至呢还被提名入围了水石书店的这种童书奖。你可能有听过很多各式各样的这种童书奖项，像纽伯瑞奖章啦，水石书店童书奖也是其中之一。Look at the word nominated and underline N O M. Does that look like a word you know? Yeah, sure. It looks like N A M E. When we nominate someone, we pick someone, and when we pick someone, we have to say their name. So N O M actually just means name. 
哦，所以这边的话，你帮我把 nominated 这里面的最开头的 n o m 把它圈起来。好，老师刚刚告诉你说，这个字呢就跟我们知道的那个字很像 name， 所以你今天提名它里面就有名称、名字这样子的一个字根在里面，在这边的话是 n o m。So here's a fun story. Lisa Thompson finally got to ride a horse when she was in her twenties. OK， 老师现在跟大家讲个有趣的故事哦。他说 ，Lisa Thompson 呢，她呢，在她到二十几岁的时候，终于有机会可以骑到一匹马上面了，还有机会去去感受一下骑马的快乐了。That's right, and she really, really loved it. Oh, 真的吗 ？Really?、Uh, no, no. Actually, she hated it, <laughs> and she she asked to get off the horse right away. <laughs> oh, OK. 所以说到后来呢，她一骑上马的时候觉得哇，好陡啊，可能不喜欢，所以发现到说，原来想象中骑马很帅的感觉。跟实际骑上马是不一样的，<笑>所以赶快说，我干我下来，放我下来的。So yeah, she. So what was the thing we said yesterday about unanswered prayers or be careful what you wish for? You just might get it. 没错，没错。I, I think this is true of Lisa Thompson too. 哎，没错，所以这句话也适用在 Lisa Thompson 身上，对不对？她以前想说，我最好。最希望做的事情就是骑在马上，这样子感觉超棒。就真的骑到马上，发现到说哇，我一点都不喜欢。<笑> okay, with that, let's take a quick break. And when we come back, we have our final paragraph. Friends, we're back with the book club on Enjoy English School, and we are talking about the day I was erased. Let's finish up today's article. Since then, after becoming a children's novelist, Lisa has published a string of hits, one after another. But it is her 2019 novel, The Day I Was Erased, that continues to strike a chord with parents and kids. Alike. 好，我们来看最后一段这个地方的第一句话哦。Since then， 好在那个之后，他从二零一七年出版的第一个小说，对不对？《金鱼男孩》之后呢？好 ，Lisa has published a string of hits one after another。他陆陆续续呢发表了一系列这种热门的作品哦。But it is her 2019 novel, The Day I Was Erased, that continues to strike a chord with parents and kids alike。这句话呢，其实蛮长的，也蛮难的哦。在这边他。就提到说了，但是真正再次引起家长和孩子们共鸣的小说，你在这边的话，你看到 strike a chord with somebody， 就是让他们深有同感，他们觉得说哇，激起他们心中热烈回响。Strike a chord， chord 本身就是那个琴弦的概念。OK， 然后第二个部分就是。Parents and kids alike. 在这边的话，我就在上面写 both parents and kids， 就是指啊，就是小朋友、大人都非常喜欢，都深深有共鸣的这样的作品，就是我们现在所讲到的《橡皮擦男孩》。So、let's continue to our next sentence. It's a great tale. It's a great story for anyone who has ever felt like an outsider or that they don't matter. OK， 接下来告诉你说 ，It's a great tale。这个 tale 就是 story 的意思，对不对？好，这个是一个非常棒的故事，适合谁呢 ？For anyone who has ever felt like an outsider or that they don't matter。好，对于那种曾经觉得自己就像个局外人一样，或觉得自己在不在这个世界上无关紧要人来说，这部作品非常适合他们阅读。Chances are, or it is likely, just like Maxwell in the book. All people really need is a new angle of looking at things. 好，最后告诉你说 ，chances are， 好，就是很有可能的情况是后面的这个说法。好，在这边的话，你也可以说 ，it's likely that。老师刚刚有介绍这个用法，对不对 ？Just like Maxwell in the book， 好，就像我们书中的这个我们主角麦斯 ，all people really need is a。New angle of looking at things. 其实大家真正需要的只是一个看待事情的新的角度。也许你换个角度去看看这个事情之后，你会发现到说，其实自己还蛮重要的。其实呢，事情还有很多很好的可能性会发生。不要这么太快的否定自己，去否定快乐的可能性。So we talked about be careful what you wish for because you just might get it, and we also talked about unanswered prayers. Thank God for unanswered prayers. Do you have any? Unanswered prayers that you're wish that you're thankful for, or 
Is there something you are happy that did not come true? Uh, I'm so embarrassed to say this, but I, I remember when I was a kid, I wish I could be a unicorn. A unicorn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. When I was a kid, I wished to be a red jaguar, like a ninja ah, turtle. So. Ninja turtle, yeah. Hi -ho. Yeah. Thank, Hi -ho. thank God for unanswered <laughs> prayers. Be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> mm, it's all, it's all. Let's take a quick break. <laughs> and when we come back, we have vocab review. Okay, friends, welcome back to Enjoy English School. Let's wrap up with vocab review and our, we, we have a phrase here. We can or we can't afford noun or we can't afford to do something. 好，在这里的话，我们用到的一个说法是 we can afford something or to do something， 或者是 we can't。Afford something or to do something. 意思是，我们能负担得起，或是负担不起什么什么东西。后面可以接名词，也可以接 to do something 这样的动词形态。Number two, we have a noun and illustration. A picture is how we would normally say it, but it's not so clear. Yeah, so illustration is our second important word, which is image, image. It is actually picture, but illustration gives us more clear feeling. Number three, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes 就是在幕后。Number four, broadcasting, or the verb is to broadcast. 好 ，broadcasting 啊是名词 ，broadcast 好是动词，都是指广播的意思。Number five, an assistant. An assistant 就是助理的意思哦。Number six, to publish. To publish 就是出版作品，尤其是书啦，好就是会用 publish 这个字。Number seven, one after another. One after another 就是接连的，或是陆陆续续的出来一个接一个的。Number eight, and finally, to strike a chord with somebody. To strike a chord with somebody 就是引起了某某人心中的共鸣。All right, and with that, we're all done for today. But don't miss us. We'll be back later on this month with more Enjoy English School. I'm Chris Gorski. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye.